Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, Mini Motorways. Let's go to Mexico City for today's daily challenge, which will see all of the trees in the world and they won't be able to be destroyed. And we will start with a motorway. So that's nice. Nice little balance to our ecological fervor and not destroying any trees. It's like, yeah, okay, fine. You can have a highway which means there will be more cars and they'll go faster and they'll emit more gases and will destroy the world that much more quickly. But listen, don't tear down any trees while you're doing it. It's a fair compromise. Oh, goodness, I'm tired. Goodness gracious ass, as the saying goes, is bodacious. <clears throat> Back hurts. It's been a busy week. It's been a busy two weeks, actually, <laughs> at work. Uh, I, I have to, um, we get paid at my job. This is going to be boring, but I'm, fuck it, it's my show. Uh, we get paid at work on the assumption that we work 40 hours a week, even though most weeks we don't. Like, one of the things I like about my job is that most weeks I don't work 40 hours. But I get paid as though I do. When, however, it looks like we're going to approach that magical hour, that magical number of 40, or even go over it, we have to send an email being like, hey, just so you know, no big deal, but I might be hitting 40 this week. And it's not a big deal. This is the first week I've ever had to send that email in back to back weeks. And it's like, yeah, you know, I'm cool. Not. Not burned out, just, you know, 40's a magic number. And 40 is indeed a magic number. But hey, it's a magic number that means more money. So there is there is indeed goodness in the magic in that number. I don't know where I'm going with this. Good morning, Scotty4250. Hope you're doing well. Oh, goodness. We are... Don't want to guarantee anything because God knows the stream schedule has been up in the air a bit the past couple of weeks, but it looks like we should be on for Great Ace Attorney Chronicles or whatever that game's called. I should really figure out. I think it's called Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Should really learn the name of the video game I'm going to start playing tonight on stream. That seems like a good thing to do. Am, am, am I right about that? Yes. Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. There you go. Spring Break has been wonderful for recovery. Spring Break is a lovely concept. It's one of the things they never tell you when you're a kid or even a college student about the working world is there's no such thing as just baked in time off. There's no... Yeah, it's spring break. Everyone's going to be away. What are you doing for spring break? No, it's like, yeah, vacations exist, but you have a limited resource of time off from your job. So there's a drawback. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, ooh, these beiges here need to get up. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we're just going to solve this problem with a tunnel. TBH. This is what they're for. We have multiples of them. These two purples here will tunnel through there and get down over there. As always, we maintain the very important principle of one business and one road. Uh, ooh, these yellows are gonna be ugly-ating. That's not a word, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's not do that. Let's do this instead. I don't want any houses spawning on the corridor between these two rows. That would be a bad thing. Draw this, and I'm gonna go one up because we can't cut through here on account of all of the trees. Good morning, Bush1G. First generation shrubbery. Or I suppose because there's a C in there, it's the first generation non-alcoholic beer. Scotty works way more than 40 hours a week, so having a week off before a marathon of testing is, uh, yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to have that time off. I get it. These yellows will run up along here. I could have done a motorway, obviously, 
up this way, but you know, motorways are very valuable resources. You want to hang on to them as much as you can. Let's see here. So this pink circle is now a circle. That can be, hmm. In the short term, it's gonna be fine with these two houses. In the long term, we're gonna have to make a decision here. And I think the decision we're gonna make, actually, is we're gonna do this. We're gonna put these four houses on the road over there, and these three, are gonna support this business. This circle should be just fine for quite a while at least with four houses supporting it given that they're so close and it's such a straight shot road. These four houses supporting this business should be just fine and these three supporting this should be even better than that. Good morning. Good morning, Leah Fireheart. 26 months. Good God, two and a third years in the Goog Troop for Leah Fireheart. Thank you so much for the resubscription. 26 months for Leah of being able to drop all those lovely tier one emotes. Let's hit those phoenixes again because after all, we are starting another Ace Attorney game later tonight. All right, what are we going to do here? Now, just looking at this, you would think we could take a couple beiges, hook them around down here, and get into this business. But that is the southern extreme of the map, and I don't think the map is going to expand any further. I think that's just the southern extreme of the map. So what we're going to have to do is yoink these two toss them on dinky little motorway dose over that away and that'll get these going off here as for this uh the thing to do i believe is a roundabout come here draw that roundabout go off of that away yeah even if i had traffic lights it would be difficult to traffic light this in an ideal scenario. Actually, yeah, you, we could traffic light like here and have one go south and the other foop around. Actually, if and when we take traffic lights, uh, that might be what we wind up doing here. But, you know, uh, actually, while we're here hypothecating, hmm, can't really get all of these purples together in such a way Hmm. I could absolutely tear the hell out of out of this situation for a net gain of one purple house going down this way. I don't know if that's worth doing. Probably isn't. This orange house has spawned in pretty much the worst place in the world given the uh, would-you-rather restrictions. Uh, this green... Actually, is this green even doing anything? Uh, there's a circle down here, but... All right, you know what? This green, we're just going to deal with that being a little bit of a terrible connection. I don't think... like This greenhouse is not going to come into play very often, and I also don't think that these oranges... Hmm... You can already tell they are slowed down when they hit this place, so it's less than ideal. Now, if I point you north, does that do bad things? Does that make you, like, first in line to the throne or anything up here? No? Okay, good. Now, uh, more purples keep spawning this way, which only encourages me to tear this up and do horrible things with it probably shouldn't tear this up and do horrible things with it. And yet, let's 
get through the week. So what I can do is just do a slightly less horrible thing and pop a motorway. If I pop a motorway involved, then, you know, can smooth that out, get back to 1B1R with it. That's not a bad idea. It would, ha- it would, however, consume our one and exactly one motorway, which may not be for the best. Never mind, now we have another motorway. And I have another idea. Let's kill this yellow road. Yeah! I'm a fan of where I'm going with this idea. So this yellow road is dead. It will be replaced by motorway number three, which will go up here. Meanwhile, these three purples right here. Okay. So this purple road here is still going to exist. It's going to come down that way, straight into that business. This purple road up here, you see where I'm going with this, I think. I hope. This purple road up here is going to swing northerly right away and then straight shot into here to support this business. These beiges down here still can't get down southerly. We still can't get down and around here. This was indeed the southern extreme of the map. So, uh, by the way, anytime I say the southern extreme of the map, I demand that you all, just like me, get total eclipse of the heart stuck in your head. So, you're welcome. Now then, uh, you... Yeah, what we're going to have to do is grab these two beiges. I'm going to swing... I'm going to swing these two up here... And this down here, that makes this motorway as short as it can be. Once this motorway goes away, like so, uh, doot and doot, you, you're gonna do that, and you're gonna do that. Off we go, okay. Motorway number two ever so slightly restructures itself now that it has three houses going up this way. That should, broadly speaking, be fine. Motorway number four exists to get these two up to here. Uh, hmm. The fact that we've got a bunch of beiges spawning in here is kind of terrifying, actually. But we'll see. It might not be horrible. These yellows will go up here into that business. Uh, buddy, if you just want to go insta circle, if you want to be a circle right away, that would basically be fine. Other things that would basically be fine include, but are not limited to, a few more beiges spawning over here, and this business being one of these greens. Yeah. Either or both of those would just be aces. Give me another tunnel, just so then I have one if and when the tunnels fall apart. Yeah, this business being either green or pink would probably be ideal. Can't help but notice that I said green or pink, and then an orange spawned there. That's what happened. All right. Well, let's see here. First of all, this business up over here has also gone circular, which is mm, bad. Just going to broadly state that that's bad. How broadly will we state that? Eh, broadly enough. Can I sneak around about anywhere in here? No? Really? No? Nowhere? Bueller? Fuck. Okay. Stinks. Not even here? Really? Not even right here? It's because there's a house on the eastern corner, so. Hey, all right. Well, these two beige houses ain't gonna do shit about shit, apparently. 
this one is going to go up here and support this circle. And actually, just having this right here is going to go a long way toward helping that. Unfortunately, we've still got to deal with this, which is <laughs> not great. What if we... Well, no, it's Wednesday, so I certainly can't wait until the weekend to fix anything. What I could do, and this is a very stupid what I could do. You ready for a stupid what I could do? What we could do is just extend this road out this way and kind of awkwardly staple these oranges to this purple road, which is probably going to get me through the weekend, but no matter what spawns, this needs to be fixed to come Monday. What am I hoping for with this? I'm hoping for a motorway. So if I get a motorway, I can swing these two oranges and maybe one more into this plaza. Also, uh, the existence of this house is great. I love it. I'm actually very happy that this, uh, this house exists. Let's redraw these yellows in preparation for including you in whatever solution I come up with for down this way. This is gonna go well. You go off that away. Good morning, Sun Flares Space. Hope you're doing well, Sunny. All right, it is Monday. Uh, let's take two traffic lights. So. <sighs> this situation is bad. All right, I see what we're going to have to do here. And I don't love it, but I see it. We're gonna kill this connection. This was a temporary fix. It is now uh, past temporary. We're gonna pull these oranges off of this road just to emphasize that they're not actually doing anything anymore. And now, these three oranges are gonna come up this way or these two, these two oranges. I feel kind of stupid doing this just because these two oranges are so damn close to this orange business, but I think this is what needs to happen. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put a traffic light here. It's gonna be a perfectly cromulent traffic light. You're gonna come straight along here. You're gonna draw the road straight, Goog. There you go. Okay. Uh, Leah suggests that I could kill motorway number four. I can! The map finally expanded. Ho ho! Praise and glory and will wonders never cease. We actually got one tile further south, and that means we can indeed murder and kill motorway number four, which, incidentally, is that gonna solve anything? That is. Getting back a motorway means I don't have to do any of this crap, which means I don't have to do any of this crap, which means I can do this crap. Oh, Leah Fireheart, you've saved me so much. Oh. All right, everybody go. Everybody go for just one moment. We're gonna get, oh look, beige is up here. Uh, these beiges and oranges are gonna do a, a weird, awkward dance so as to not touch each other, but you know, it's like they're middle schoolers. <sighs> Found the title of the episode. Let's grab these beiges here, go up there. Uh, this motorway that we've just retrieved is going to propel these two oranges over... Actually, it's going to propel these three oranges, because these three oranges are, pre are currently not doing anything. So these three oranges are going to take motorway number four. They're going to swing over... Never mind, a second orange house spawned over that away. Fucking brilliant. So now I just have a spare motorway. Not really doing nothing. Holy crap. That means that we can take these broken wings. It's been long enough since I used this joke. I get to do it again. Uh, let's see here. You know what? Uh, while we're here reclaiming motorways, 
let's reclaim motorway number two because I've got bucket of road tiles and a fairly uh, bullshit your path that will eventually get me up over to this business right here. So that's going to bring me, it's going to mean I have two spare motorways. Don't have anything much in terms of road, but uh, once all this orange road goes away, I'm actually going to have a fair bit of road tile as well. Oh my God, everything's coming up. Goog house. Except for this green business. This green business is eh, kind of funky. So let's do something about it. Let's murder some more road, first of all. It's the first thing we're going to do about it. You get into there. That's fine. Uh, this orange is going to go over here. Uh, this is a terrible connection, just broad strokes in general. These oranges, I want to pull away from everything. Leave these greens to their own terrible devices. Uh, can we point them differently? What if, hold on, what if we make all of this just one big, happy connectionation like so yes boom there we go so all of these greens slide down here pop over that away and go in here we are indeed not allowed to murder trees would you rather is in effect these trees over here are sacrosanct they cannot be touched Scotty says, send some of the beige from the motorway to go to the beige circle. So, uh, ah, yes, some, some of the beiges that had been using this motorway need to get over to this beige circle. I forgot that that was a circle. So boom, 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 right there. So you four plus you are going to support this circle. You three are going to support that business. You, uh, I only have five road tiles. That should be fine. Uh, oh, I'm about to get a bunch more road tiles back. Never mind then. You two are going to join those three, and the five of you are going to go up that away. Have fun with that. Uh, every business is currently supported except this one. I just robbed all of the love and support from this business, which was rude of me. It was a bad, mean, awful thing that I did. However, we can kind of fix it a little by drawing motorway number two right there. Actually... Hold on. Oh, I have a tremendous idea. And by tremendous, I mean abundantly stupid. Let's have fun with motorway, with roundabouts, shall we? Uh, these three up here are going to take motorway number two, and they're going to... No. Well, they can straight shot into the business, which is probably better than whatever stupid thing I was about to do. All right, fine. You're, gonna, you're just going to straight shot into the business. We're going to kill that roundabout. It's going to be fine. Meanwhile, you are just going to hop over here and have a fight about it. We're throwing six houses of cars at this business. It doesn't necessarily have to make all the sense in the world. It should be fine. I insist. I demand. I implore you to be fine. Welcome back to Sane Mornings, Google. Sports pun coming in with a 39 month subscription says welcome back to sane mornings, which I mean, listen, how, how sane exactly is it to do a, a 500 plus episode YouTube series about a video game? But it is certainly better than getting up at 515 in order to work, which is what I have been doing the past couple of days. It is certainly better than getting Dunkin' Donuts or... Not Dunkin' Donuts, but getting Burger King breakfast. It is a while. Sports pun, 39 months in the Goog Troop. I know I just insulted Burger King breakfast, but damn it, now I want a croissant sandwich. I'll get over it. Or I'll make myself something similar later. That's the beauty of being at home. Now... Uh, do I have anything that I can use to make a croissant witch? No, I don't have croissant. I barely have witch. 
What are we going to do here? So this pink house is just the dirt worst. Like, the placement of this is atrocious. I hate it. Burger King has fucking delicious breakfast. I have never had Wendy's Orb Taco Bell. But um, Burger King breakfast is possibly the most under-discussed bre- fast food breakfast there is, which is just absurd. Uh, this is going to be bad. I want to find a way to incorporate these beiges into the support of this circle, but honestly, that might just be me looking for ways not to think about this bullshit. Because this bullshit is such bullshit. <sighs> Unfortunately, there is a... This is an ugly fix, but it's also an obvious one, so we're going to go with it for now. It should be fine-ish for the moment. Breakfast Baconator. Is that just a Baconator, but instead of beef patty, they put egg? That sounds good, because it's just a fancy name for an egg and che- for a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Fuck, now I'm hungry. I have no food in this house. That's a slight exaggeration. I have no food that I can easily prepare in this house. Which sometimes is functionally, I have no food in this house. What are we going to do over here? Uh, This business exists, which is kind of a problem. This business also exists. Ow. Uh, You know what? We can take... We can take these pinks and route them more southerly. Like so. Then you go up that away. So the pinks wrap around down here. Now that the pinks have successfully wrapped around down here, we can run this road up this way. That means that we've got three beiges here for this circle. And once we have three beiges here for this circle, I feel less bad about pilfering two beiges here for this business. Because this business should really only need two houses. I think that's a fair and true statement. Give me a second roundabout. Uh, You exist, which fuck you, but not the end of the world, just an annoyance. We'll bring this down that away. Uh, I could probably sneak a roundabout in, say, right here, which actually might be a thing to do. Hold on. Uh, If we do that, and we do that, and we do that, and, oh, okay, we've got, a, we've got a lot of things happening at once here. You go that away. Go support that business. That should be fine. Uh, all of the purples in the world have spawned up here, which is, eh, broadly speaking, okay. You, 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 and you are going to find some uh, some roundabout and make yourselves very happy at some point. Did I say roundabout? I meant motorway. You know what I mean. These beiges here are going to run up and over and down, And now all of a sudden, these five are taking care of this circle. And I think that's basically okay. Oh, let's see here. Everybody go fast today. Uh, You point up, you point up, you point diagonal. This business is the most supported little square in the history of the world. This yellow circle, however, is kind of mondo fucked. Hold on. How, how have I let this go on for so long? This is bad resource management, is what this is. This is this is poor division of labor. Shit doesn't make sense. Fix it. All right, let's begin fixing it. Uh, motorway number, what motorway number is this? Three, motorway number three is gonna abandon this tiny little yellow death circle and instead join a cult of support. Listen. If it actually supports you and makes you feel better, it's not a cult, it's a friend group. So this yellow friend group right here is going to grab motorway number three and go take care of that business and everything's going to be fine. Meanwhile, this square will still have four houses supporting it and a fifth I could easily add if I need to. So you're going to go. We are up over only 1,600. That feels like a comparatively good number for today. Oh boy. Um, all right. Problem over here. This is this is an issue. 
This is a situation. Let's solve it thusly. This orange is gonna go fun go pop. No. Uh hmm. So you do that. It's fine. Except we have nothing to hmm. Well, dang. What if we just didn't do that? Carbs really shouldn't be stressful. They shouldn't. They should not. Carbs are beautiful, special things that sustain life. And give us food. Uh, this orange square is still fucked. Which, yeah, I can see why that would be fucked. Here, give me a second tunnel. All right. Now that I have three tunnels, also now that all of these beiges are not really mandatory. Yeah, none of these beiges are mandatory for anything right now. So, actually, I'm just going to do that, and I'm going to wait for this to be a problem. To carbohydrates, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. <sighs> One thing about my bestest friend in the whole wide world, sports pun, said he's not a Simpsons person. And therefore, a good 7% of my vocabulary, which I would say a good 7% of my vocabulary is Simpsons references. It's just gone. Just absolutely gone. Dead to the world. It's difficult. Now, uh, these beiges here have gone circular, which is uh, actually fine, given that I have 800,000 beige houses right here what ain't doing Jack all of a sudden? They instead have romanced Miranda. Get it? They ain't doing Jack. <sighs> anyway, uh, these beiges will come down and then over and then up and then this becomes a perfectly cromulent traffic light. And we go up here and this beige circle is very well supported. Now, how does everything else look? Uh, this orange square is surprisingly okay. Uh, Scotty says that he has never watched The Simpsons on balance. It's a bad television show. <laughs> Listen, The Simpsons has been going on so long that it is, in fact, a bad television show. But it used to be. A historically great television show. Uh, let's take a second roundabout rather than a fourth tunnel. This orange circle is a circle, and that means it's in trouble. Let's fix that, shall we? Uh, this pops over here. Doot, 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 and a doot. Okay. We're going to have to remarry this orange path to this road just a tiny little bit. Leah says she will never stop being mad about the fact that Jack is straight. I don't remember. I know there's a dialogue scene where Jack says that she had a three-way with a dude and his girlfriend. I believe that three-way was described as consensual. But uh, Jack is definitely not romanceable by a female shepherd which is a damned shame. It is a damned shame, and it is the fault of the cowards at Electronic Arts. <laughs> it's not entirely Bioware's fault. It is Electronic Arts is doing that a female shepherd cannot romance the... Ah, oh, man. You could argue, you could argue fairly strongly that the three best romances in Mass Effect are just for male shepherds. I would personally put Garrus above Jack, but you could argue that the three best romances in Mass Effect are just for male shepherds and that that's bullshit. And not many people would disagree with you. <laughs> Sports Fun says that the three best romances are Jack, Jack, and Jack, which, no. No, absolutely. Absolutely not.
Uh, oh boy. Leah, I've got to say, and listen, maybe this is not my place to judge. I would say the most bisexual character in Mass Effect history is Caden Alenko, and that might be aided by the fact that Caden is literally bisexual. But anyway. Uh, these two oranges... Man, this orange square is just not happy. With, I know this is a, a bit of a traffic nightmare with the with the the orange and the pink and the Dunkin' Donuts colors coming together, but still, I'm throwing eight houses at a square and the square's still dying. So that's um, it's bad. I don't have any other word for it. Speaking of bad and things that are bad, uh, this business over here is bad. So bad, in fact that I'm about to do something tremendously stupid in order to save it. So you see how we have all of these, all of these purples here not really doing anything? What if, follow me here, hear me out. This is a fucking hear me out. Oh, this is such a bad idea. What if all of these purples come down into this roundabout one spur of the roundabout comes over here and does what this roundabout had originally been constructed to do and get down to this thing. But another spur of this roundabout comes down here over to there and meets another roundabout whereby it joins these purples to this circle. What about that? What then? With this enormous purple cavalry. <laughs> Would this enormous purple cavalry come down here and save the day? Almost certainly not. And yet. And yet. Stay alive, purple businesses. Stay alive. We'll take another motorway, which should probably immediately obviate this uh, this situation. But listen, the roundabouts that kill everything can't kill everything if you don't let them kill everything. Sigh. <sighs> 2,897 commuters over 91 days. That's not bad. That feels like a good score. It's top 10% in the world. Now, granted, it's still... Fucking 2,000 trips below Samurai Sam. Drop those Samurai Slams in the chat if you've got them. But, you know, it's the thought and the hope that counts, right? Right? It's not, is it? It's You gotta actually be, like, good at stuff. Well, piss pants. Okay. We'll try being good at stuff. Here, let, let, let's be, let's be good at the Wordle stuff. Mm. All right. Sunflare Space got warned about possibly Caden sliding in as a ninja romance, which not quite sure how that would happen. The Wordle is not slide, although once again, I saw that green S and was like, oh my god, and then, no. No, actually, it's not. Uh, it could be seven. There's no rule saying it can't be seven. It is, in fact, not seven. But hey, Scotty says today's Wordle is simple but difficult. Leah is off to bake a cake. I hope it is good cake. Everybody go follow Leah Fireheart if you are not already. Does cooking, does gaming, Stardew Valley. Adorable puppy dogs named Chester. What, I ask myself, could this be? Could it be spec? It could absolutely be spec. It's... <laughs> Very close. 
Uh, it's not spec, but I think we're going to get it in four, because it's got to be speak, don't it? It does indeed got to be speak. Hooray! Victory and triumph and glory. And now, let us try connections. Good God. All right. We've got spatula. All right. Aviator are sunglasses, but sports pun guest sneak which would also have been a, a four green letter word. Depar Departed and Aviator are both the second word of movie titles where the first word is the. But I don't think... The Grey was a horror movie, wasn't it? There was a horror movie called The Grey. I might be onto something there, but it feels like a lot of a stretch. So let's just keep that in the back of our head and try to make some other things happen here. We've got... I mean, okay, aviator, pilot, flyer, and ace are all terms for people who propel airplanes, right? I, I, I might have gotten just way up in my own ass with movie titles. I think there we go. The, the person in charge of an airplane is the flyer. Okay, sure. Why not? That makes sense. So right and left. Interesting. Uh, gray. Hmm. Scotty and sports pun were both perfect, although sports puns was blind luck. <laughs> Which, hey, sometimes you need luck. Sometimes you need to, to process of eliminate shit, which, good God. Um, okay, hold on. Went, split, left, and departed are all past terms for exited. So, there you go. Off we go. Now then, we've got to pull, got to separate this pile of garbage into things that make sense so ATM and casino are both things you put money into but I don't see a third or fourth one of those I mean, obviously gray and blue. Gray and blue are both colors and pictures. But I don't see any other colors. And I don't remember. There was a Cincinnati Reds minor leaguer named Hank Spatula, but he never made the bigs. And also I'm making him up just so that we can imagine a baseball player named Hank Spatula. So I don't think that's right. Sonny says, not Sonny, Scotty says that one of the categories swims, which does make sense. There's a fin. Uh, fin casino like those are both things that are vaguely associated with sharks and sharks are gray but you know I don't think they favor a particular direction when swimming I don't think they have a, a set time when they do their, their, their death murder they certainly don't flip around so 
Oh boy. Um, Sports Pod wants to get a custom Cincinnati Reds jersey with spatula. But that's an expensive buy for a narrow joke that was made one time. Listen, buddy, this is why MLB The Show has a player creator, okay? I want a tall, gangly, handlebar mustached pitcher named Hank Spatula with a big loopy curveball and a surprisingly deceptive sinker. And like all random dead ball pitchers in the show, he throws 108 miles an hour for no good reason. Hank Spatula, Cincinnati Red. Now then, what in God's name? I'm gonna, this is one of those that's gonna make me mad. I'm gonna be mad at this. It's not even gonna be like satisfying. I'm just gonna be mad at it. <sighs> okay. So blue could be like the deep blue as in the deep blue sea. So boop, boop, boop. And none of this makes sense. There's no such thing as a spatula shark. There's no such thing as a spatula shark. Um, I have no fucking clue at this point. Um, schedules run, you know, they run things on time. Other big swimmy things. Oh, oh, is it whales? Is it whales? We, we have blue. Okay, hold on. Blue whales. Casinos have whales. Um... Whales have fins. Is a group of whales called a schedule? Is that one of those dumb names? Oh, apparently blue, right, fin, and gray are all whales. Huh. Okay. I knew, I, I knew that blue whale was a thing. I didn't... So, casino schedule, ATM, and spatula. What? They're things with slots. Okay. Yep. Okay. <sighs> wow. <laughs> that one was... I was never going to get the whales. I was never... I was, I was never going to get either of those. That was... Mmm. Mmm. Things with slots. Good job. All right, now for a better game. Spatulas do have slots. Okay, here's the thing with spatulas, right? There are two very distinct implements that are called spatulas. Leah is probably wondering, and Leah's like an actual chef type person. So Leah's probably thinking of this thing. This thing here is also known as a spatula, right? This is, this is a spatula. I would call this like, see, icing spatula. Yeah, this is a spatula. But also, if you just Google the word spatula, you get this thing, which is probably more accurately described as like a flipper or something. But uh, yeah, this is spatula. It's got slots. There, you, you, you slot right there. You, you flip a burger. Now I want a burger. Oh my God, I just remembered. I, don't, I know I said I don't have much food in this house, and I don't. I have to do grocery shopping today. But I do have frozen turkey burgers. And I do have eggs. And I do have cheese. And I do have bread. And that means I could have a breakfast burger. Oh. Oh, that's going to be tasty. I'm going to have a burger with an egg on it. It's going to be tasty. And it's going to give me a heart attack. Oh, so looking forward to that. Okay. But first, before we burg, we must strand off the shelf. I see. So I'm immediately going to look for words like retail and that sort of thing. Uh, let's see what we can get here. I see snap, which is just a great word. Samurai Sam rejoining the Goog Troop with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. 35 months 
in the gook troop. Leah just remembered that she's supposed to be making cake. Samurai Sam, thank you very much. 35 months of being able to drop all of the lovely tier one emotes, including, yes, Sam, a Samurai Slam today for you. Alas. What are we gonna do here, I wonder? Uh, oh, it could be Morbin time. No? Okay, fine. Find it interesting that the New York Times refuses to acknowledge Morb as a word, but whatever. Uh, F, uh, it could be just front. Nope. Interesting. Uh, is there a C around here? No, I just saw Aramic for no reason. Alas. Could be... Nope. Thought there was a... Well, maybe we're just buying camisoles? No. What do you mean cami's not a word? Shame on you. Uh, what about... A great many things. It's F-R-A-M, but not E. Uh, we could pray that somebody give that we yeah we could pray that I find a word that's actually in the puzzle that would be nice uh, O-R-A-N nope thought I could get to that G I was wrong how about that M-O-N-E-Y nope sports button soft foray which yep that's right here Sunflare space sees gear which is another hint word. We're going to get there eventually. Uh, what about... Great many things. Yep, there's Stern, which is another one. Sportsman saw Snaffin, which I don't, I don't think is a word. See, this is, this is the part that, like, when you don't see anything is the most annoying one. Once we get one. Scotty found graph, which is right here. Nope. And that couldn't actually be, like photograph or phonograph or anything else where graph is a suffix could it uh, I don't think so actually maybe it could be so there is an O graph What am I not seeing to get around here? I'm, I'm basically just building backwards at this point because we've got the G-R-A-P-H, right? And then, so something O-graph, but what? If this is the spangram, it's gonna start over here and I'm just not seeing it. Oh, oh, biography. Off the shelf as in bookshelf. There you go. Okay. So this is, well, that's Morse's in Morse code. That doesn't actually help. It's book thingies. Gotcha. Okay. These are types of books, subjects. Which means that I should 
There's fantasy. These are genres. That's the word I was searching for. Genres. I think I just saw mystery as well. Yes, it did. Mystery. Oh, and by the way, the Spangram is in fact genres. Mystery. Do, do, do. Uh, humor. And then down in here, this pile of garbage is in fact two words. So it is R O M A N C E. Aha! And then fiction. Hear ye, right there. hear ye. Let the record show that this viewer was here first. Trombone Dalek was here first. Good morning, Trombone Dalek. As we head into the final part of our program, Trombone Dalek was here first. <laughs> Hello, Trombone Dalek. Congratulations on being here first, Trombone Dalek. All right, we need Tigers and Giants and Mariners and A's and Dudes What Had a 300 batting average season and Dudes What Played Shortstop one time. Fair enough. A Seattle Mariner who played shortstop one time is, did they ever stick Sean Figgins at short? Eh, probably not. That was a bad idea when Sean Figgins was good. So... Probably not a good idea for the Mariners to have done it because he would not good on the Mariners. Uh, I mean, the obvious one is A-Rod. I don't want to just say A-Rod. That would be boring. And yet, and yet, and yet, we're going to say A-Rod. Alex Rodriguez was a shortstop for the Mariners. Jed Lowry was a shortstop for the A's at least one time. A shortstop who had a 300 batting average season is Ozzy Smith. I think, I assume, he was good like once. There you go. And now we need to name some Tigers. Oh no. A Detroit Tiger who had a 300 batting average season is uh, Sean Casey. Yeah, it sounds right. We're going to go with it. It was wrong. It was wrong. Sean Casey was not good when he was on the Tigers. So, fuck. A Detroit Tiger who had a 300 batting average season is uh, Miguel Cabrera. Of course, you go for the obvious layup. Why would you ever try to be cute and go with some schmuck like Sean Casey? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Comma, the underscore gook. A San Francisco Giant who had a 300 batting average season is Hunter Pence. Of course not, Goog. What are you doing? What are you doing, Goog? Why would you go for some schmuck like Hunter Pence when there's an obvious answer like Buster Posey? You dumbass. A San Francisco Giant who played for the Seattle Mariners is Randy Johnson. There, we're not fucking around anymore. And a Seattle Mariner who was a Detroit Tiger is, uh, well, Jamie Moyer wasn't a Tiger, so obviously I don't know any Tigers. Um, a San Francisco Giant who played for the Oakland A's is Cody Ross. Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck it. That sounds right. Cody Ross was an A at some point, we assume. He was! Yay! I was right about a thing. I got to do one and exactly one kind of obscure dude. Cody Ross. I also fucked up twice. So, yes indeed. Sports Fun reminds us that when he was on the Red Sox, he was mashing Cody Ross. That is the best combination of drops you will ever damn hear. I promise. Now then, fingers crossed it actually looks like later today we will be back with the debut. Goog does like... That's true. Goog does try to go for obscure dudes on the Immaculate Grid and then fuck it up very badly. It's true. 
Also, Point of Order Sports Fund, that is a decade and a half old dumb joke, I think. Yeah, because he was on like the 2007 Red Sox. Anyway, we will be back later today with the great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Shut up, dog. Shut up, Sam. You're both. We're playing Ace Attorney later tonight. We'll be back. Good God, the Bobby Valentine year was atrocious. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.